Hello there, and welcome to the training video on how to create an email mail merge with Microsoft Publisher and Excel. To begin this, make sure that you have your email list ready. So in Excel, I'm going to show you my email list and just go through that real quickly. Make sure that you have headers in the top part of your columns. Otherwise, if you have the just the names and the emails, it's not going to run through correctly. So I just want to point that out. So you can see Bobby Johnson, Randy Johnson, Billy Johnson, Johnny Johnson, and these are just sample emails. All right, so I'm going to save this and close it out. All right, we're going to go into Publisher. So the next step is to get that open. Click File. We are going to need something new. And, and let's type in Email because we want to create an email with publisher. So we can go to trading news or trader news or, or something along that line. I'm gonna go with this one and we're gonna just create something from scratch. Let that load up. All right, and I'm gonna maximize this to 100. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. So we're, okay, so just to show you, we could, put something like happy birth day and then we're going to just fill in the name right here now let's just uh adjust a few things shall we i can change this to green and I can change this to green. So you can just go in and edit this whenever you want and to add whatever you want. But just keep it a consistent flow. That way it looks good. All right. Yeah, that looks better. All right, let's get a logo in here. So... I'm going to need you to go to change, pick, go to remove picture, and now we're going to change picture. So we can pick something here once it loads. You can go to a file, you can Bing search it, or you could go to your OneDrive. I'm going to go to my files real quickly. And... Let's just add this icon and this will just insert there. Adjust back to 100 and you can adjust the size right here and you can adjust it right there. Just make sure that it looks well. Just to the right. Perfect, and now you have a little basketball thing right there. Also, make sure that the date is when you're sending it out. Twenty twenty Trader News, and we're gonna just do add in the happy birthday. So just once again, when changing images, is just right click uh, hit change picture then scroll to remove picture click on that and then 
go back, click change picture, go from file once more, go to pictures, you can do saved pictures, and just add something like that, hit insert, and just, just that there, and just scroll there, there, and you can really play around with this, and this is why I like sending out mail merges this way. Because everything's already preset. Now, the reason why we don't do this in Word is because is because it it's not preset or it's harder to preset. This, you have to add your own images, just, and it's much more difficult to format these text boxes right here using it. Yeah, so pull in Miami. Yeah, so you can adjust that to any way, way or any style that you like. Now, here we we go to to mailing so we need a step-by-step -step email merge wizard all right we're going to connect a receipt and make sure that oasisbook.com all right go to your email list uh that you want to add to it click open you're going to see this, click OK, and then there is all your names, and just click OK. So make sure you set up your Excel sheet before you do this. All right, and now we can add, we can uh, add the fields real quickly. So just select the name. name name comma and then it'll go down so now from there just we're going to send out this email subject line new trader news or and you could always just that and just be sure to add your own subject to it when you use this so I'm going to click send, and you are about to send four email messages. Do you want to continue? Hit OK. And just let that go. Right. And also be sure to check your outbox uh, when it's done. Also, make sure that your email is synced up on your laptop mail app, and I've linked a video on how to do that in the description. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you, and have a nice day.